Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to take a look at version control and transaction history in Spreadsheet Web Applications. After their deployment, most applications inevitably go through several revisions due to changes in the business logic or underlying data. Since Spreadsheet Web's designer is a purely web-based tool, all changes you make in the designer interface are actively occurring on the web server as you make them. When you create a new designer application, you essentially start a transaction when you go into the designer interface, and the application will be in development mode in this state. Once you finish building your application and publish it, it will be accessible on the web. Any subsequent changes will require you to create a new transaction, and this is how different versions of your web applications are handled in Spreadsheet Web. Let's see how this works on an example. Here I have an order entry application that has already been published. Users can access this application and enter the items they want to receive a quote. The pricing information for items is coming from one of the tables in the underlying spreadsheet. Let's assume that the price of one of our items has changed. To do this, we can download the underlying workbook by pressing the green Download Excel Model button next to the application name on the control panel. Let's say the price of item 1 has changed from $363 to $500. After making our changes and saving the workbook, we can re-upload it starting a new transaction. And then going into the Edit Application page in the Designer. Now we need to select our file and press Update. Some changes might also require you to add or remove certain controls from the user interface designer, but this won't be necessary in our example. After uploading the file, publishing the application will finalize our transaction and make our changes go live. Anyone accessing the application after this point will be working on the latest data. We just concluded a transaction. To make further changes in this application, we would have to create a new transaction, but changes we make in the next transaction won't affect the application version that is currently active. We can see the price change reflected on the application. You can see the transaction history of a designer application by going to the Edit Application page from the Control Panel and pressing Transaction History. Here you will see all transactions that have been published in the past. You can also remove active transactions that haven't been published yet by pressing the Delete button next to them. The workbooks used in previous transactions can be downloaded by pressing the Download button next to that transaction. 